Okay, pause. What in the world has happened this weekend? If you don't, if you are following AI and maybe you're subscribed to this channel already, maybe not, but if you're following AI, this weekend was absolutely just crazy. Um, this channel, I started this channel years ago, uh, not with the intention of focusing on AI. And the last, like, I think the last video I uploaded was like something about chat GPT two or three. And we like pulled up a terminal and anyways, it, it, it was, it was chat GPT basically in the terminal before chat GPT jet. All chat GPT has done is give us a uh, interface and improved on you know the gpt3 gpt2 models that aside i haven't uploaded in a while and i feel the need to upload right now because one i asked on my linkedin i was like um what did i say oh i mentioned you know the the past video that we did on this channel um and somebody asked they said, hey, what do you think about everything that's going on with OpenAI and Sam Altman and all that stuff? So that's why I'm doing this video. And I I mean, I guess like if this is this is a pretty this is a pretty good example of why uh, like people matter, right? So the technology at OpenAI is so good. It's so good. It it really is, it's so good. And um, and at the end of the day, it was like the whole company almost fell apart because they fired, like they, meaning like um, Ilya and the board, fired Sam Altman, and people, people just went completely crazy. Like people just lost, people lost their minds over this, and it is the funniest thing. Um, literally, they like their company almost just completely just disappeared because they try to get rid of Sam Altman. Like literally right now, like almost the entire company has signed a letter saying, we're going to leave if you continue with this and you get rid of Sam, right? Like e even Ilya, who, who <laughs> was the person who fired Sam, signed the petition. Like this is, you just cannot make this stuff up. This is crazy. And uh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Ilya signed the petition. He he's already retracted his words. And by the way, props on him. Like that is not easy to do. That is not that is not easy to do. And for him to just go back and just take back what he said, I, you know, props to props to you, Ilya. That that's just that's freaking awesome, man. Um, but this, I mean, I guess like really this this is just such a huge like huge huge example of the import the importance of the human factor in all of this like in, in, in business in tech and Ilya he, I mean he, he literally I like for whatever reason he wanted you know to get rid of rid of Sam he did not see this backfiring on him like this and boy oh boy did it backfire so that's kind of my biggest takeaway from all of this is you could have the best technology in the world, you could have the best team in the world, but if you don't handle things in like a human manner, like in, in, in a way that people like, you know, like respect, like, dude, like your whole company could just completely fall apart. Like this is, it's just, it's just so funny. So that's my take on it. Ironically, the guy who uh, asked me on my take was a recruiter that, uh, like ghosted me so that was that's kind of funny like you know my take on all of this is like to like you know be a decent human that like knows how to interact with people and then <laughs> that's that's my answer to the person who like ghosted me um you know nothing personal i just i thought that was pretty funny um but yeah th that is my take on all of this is the human factor matters um where where do we go from here the, like that's the big question is where do we go from here this channel i you know i, I haven't uploaded it in, in a long time and if any of you know my background i majored in philosophy 
and like this this stuff like this all this agi stuff this is what i did my capstone senior thesis research on it was agi strong ai narrow ai i know i've been working in tech and like working as a computer programmer and you know software developer but uh my my true passion is actually on this topic with agi relating to consciousness philosophy mind all that stuff that's just like you know kind of out there out there but i mean like is it really out there like you know <laughs> Is, is this stuff really out there? Um, I I think we're gonna I think we're gonna see a little bit of a renaissance here with philosophy, and the reason why I say that is because I mean Mark Q, I think it was Mark Cuban like years ago who mentioned something like philosophy was gonna be the the key that unlocks AI or AGI. I think he's kind of right, and the reason why I think he's right. And the reason why I think philosophy in general is very, very good for AI is because it narrows, philosophy helps us, anybody, anybody, anybody who's interested in AI, studying philosophy and learning how to be a philosopher helps you ask the right questions. And that is what we need right now. We don't need answers. ChatGPT can give us plenty of answers. Like they, you know, ChatGPT can scan the entire internet and just give us all the answers that, that we want. What we need right now is to figure out how to ask the right questions. So that's what this channel is gonna be about. We're pivoting, kind of pivoting, like, you know, the last video I, I did was, um, I think it was like a tutorial on, yeah, we talked about it, it was like a tutorial on, on OpenAI's GPT-2 or 3 or whatever. And, um, but, you know, moving away from program, don't get me wrong, I, I, I absolutely love, like, I love programming. Programming is so fun. Uh, and you know, maybe we can uh, keep doing a little bit of programming, but um, if, you, if you're if you a subscriber and or if you're new to this channel and you wanna subscribe, that is gonna be the focus moving forward is philosophy, uh, asking all these questions. We're gonna be diving into AGI. Luckily, this is something I've been studying for for year, almost a decade now. And actually, yeah, it has been a decade. Um, so I've been studying, you know, AGI, narrow AI, strong AI, all that good stuff. John Searle, a lot of the philosophy of mind um, thinkers and stuff for a long time. And it matters. It turns out that that stuff matters. Because the key to AGI is not only going to be, is it smarter than us, but is AGI its own agent, right? Who builds AGI and does not matter? Like, if, if AGI is it is its own entity, has its own desires and beliefs and that stuff, you know, maybe it kind of does matter who built it, you know, from an ethical perspective. Like you could think like a human, like, you know, if you're raised in a good family or blah, 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 like maybe you're more likely to get educated, stay out of jail, all, you know, all this, all the sociology kind of stuff, right? But um, at the end of the day, we're all kind of our own agents and um, whether you believe in free will or not, like, uh, I mean, you, 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 like I just picked that up. That's a stupid argument. I know if you're a philosopher, you probably hate that I just did that. But I mean, like, it, it's kind of true. Like, like, given our circumstance, we can't control everything. But given what we have control over, we can decide what we want to do with it. And can an AI do the same? Is an AI an agent? Subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace.